and I am literally, that's my plane right up there. See, I'm getting ready to board that plane and I am going to Maui, Hawaii, which is one of my favorite places in the world. I'm heading to Hawaii for three months. If you haven't heard, it's all I've been talking about because this is actually a huge dream of mine. I've been wanting to work and play and really take my business and to anywhere in the world. This has been a huge goal of mine and this, this kind of plane ride is very personal because this is really me stepping into my intuition and following my heart, which is really one of the methods that we use to be happy, right? Everything that I do now is, is share the happiness and talk to you guys about what's important to me and a lot of it comes back to finding what brings us joy. And so today what I'm gonna share with you as I was getting ready to get on the plane, I thought I'd send a quick message to you because the reality is what I was thinking of is there's certain steps that we take to become happy. And for me personally, when I very first left corporate and I was very depressed several years ago, I didn't know what I wanted to do. But today my life looks much different. I'm very clear, I'm crystal clear on my purpose and my mission and I s express myself fully in all of that I do. And it's a very rewarding experience when you can step into your true authentic self. And I'm gonna share with you today my secret sauce on how I took myself literally from super depressed, dark, really in a suffocating place, hating my life and myself, to living my dreams, going to Maui and Hawaii to play and finish my next book, and being able to work from anywhere in the world and truly doing business and uh, owning my own business of work that I am so fulfilled and passion filled at every moment doing. And so the secret steps I'm gonna share, there's three of them. The very first one is to follow your joy route. As I said, when I very first left corporate, I had no idea what I wanted to do. I just knew what I was doing was not working very well. And so I had to take steps. I had to take baby steps to really get to where I wanted to go. And in doing that, it opened up expansive opportunities for me to become who I really, really am and who I really wanted to be. And it started by following my joy route. So that meant when I left corporate, I, instead of looking back, I focused forward and I focused on what brought me joy, which was writing and traveling and thus became the travel writing and the journalist and the girl you see today. And so think about what brings you joy. What brings you joy and how can you add it into your day more often? Sometimes we get overwhelmed because we don't know our big purpose. But if you're on your path of trying to find your purpose and passion, taking baby steps and really taking just like following that joy path one step at a time will help you get clearer and closer to what you really want. So that's step one and that's something I do every day. I follow my joy route and that's one of the reasons I'm getting on a plane to Hawaii. Okay, number two, the second thing that you wanna do is go on a future field trip. Mm, sounds nice, right? So before I ever started travel writing, before I ever published books, before I ever even started life coaching, I started to visualize it in my head. I started to think, wow, how would it feel? How would it smell? How would I feel when I'm writing all, in all these countries and when I'm actually experiencing happiness in all these places? What does that look like? And so I, I literally spent five minutes every day just visualizing my success. Now this is visualization techniques in itself. It's a very popular method performed by success leaders all around the world. Professional athletes use this, Olympic athletes uh, really practice this method to help them get clear about making that you know, three point shot or running their PR or whatever the goal is. So you don't have to be an athlete, maybe you are, but you don't have to be to make this work for you. In fact, what is it that's really, really driving you? And really go into your heart, close your eyes, and picture yourself doing that. So what happens is when you start following your joy route, you start doing things that bring you more joy, you will get clearer along the path of what is really important to you. And in doing this, your whole world's gonna open up and when it opens up, this is inspiration coming to you. This is inspiration saying, hey, this is what I really want for you. Like your inner self is saying, this is what we really want. Whether it's writing, photography, maybe it's leaving the job or the relationship you're in, you're getting guidance all the time. So your goal is to listen to that. 
And that's what going on a future trip is. It's about visualizing yourself as if you've already received that that you're working for. So over the past few months, I've been picturing myself riding by the sea, swimming with wild dolphins, taking these videos to a whole new level because I'm gonna literally be out hiking and, and on volcanoes and stuff. It's gonna be tremendously awesome. And this is what I've been visualizing and it can come to us faster. So if you really wanna be happy and successful, how can you visualize the success that you're working towards? Take time and practice it. It's a very good step. It works wonders. And then the third step in my secret sauce to happiness and a lot of why I manifest things so fastly, fast, is trust. Third step is to trust. Now trusting is about knowing that there is a time and place for everything. So you can work towards your dreams and you can work towards your goals, but recognize that there's a divine plan at action and really the universe is supporting you for what's really gonna be best for you. So what does this mean? Well, let's think about a goal that you're working towards. If it's not where, if you're not where you wanna be yet, by practicing your joy route, taking more joyful steps to get there and really visualizing and really picturing yourself as if you've already re as received what it is you're working towards or achieved that goal. The third and final step is to trust and that means you know it's on its way to you. You can relax, literally you can like go to Hawaii and just chill out, right? No, it's all about chilling and working towards your goal so you're already taking steps towards it but you're really actually knowing that there is a plan greater than yours. This is a tricky one, but I promise you, when you can really capture the essence of trusting and knowing that you are being led to what's best for you, when you truly tap into following your heart, you trust that it's right, right for you. In fact, my dad just now dropped me off. It was so great. He dropped me off, um, it's like four in the morning here, and he dropped me off at the airport in this very last words where I hope Hawaii is everything you want it to be. And I thought, this is very special. And I responded and I said, yeah, this is a big experiment for me. Thanks, I love you, and I love you. You know, we hugged, it was great. But his words were really, really great because it showed that, you know, I am working towards my dreams. My goal for many years has been to live in Hawaii. And so I'm going for three months to experiment. I've created a life where I can experiment and I can play with the world. And really when I do this, it allows me to put my heart it allows me to be vulnerable and share my experiences with all of you. And I feel connected to you all. And that's what being and following your heart and setting goals and reaching them is all about. It's about really honoring yourself and what's gonna make you happy. Because Hawaii is not everyone's cup of tea, but it's certainly my cup of tea. And I'm going to really learn about myself and to finish my book and make it absolutely as awesome as it can be. So um, I think we're bordering, so I better go. And I just wanted to share with you the tips on my secret sauce and recipe for success. There's three steps I take, and this has pulled me out from being deep, dark, crying every day to being happy and fulfilled with my life and sharing my experiences fully, openly, and honestly. And I hope that you guys uh, really enjoy this experience of going inward and following your joy route. I would love to hear what brings you joy. Leave in the comments below or tell me what you're up to. What are you manifesting right now and what goal are you working towards and how can you trust and let it go? Thanks guys, I'll see you. Next time I see you, I will be in Hawaii. Bye-bye.